All right, hi, Science 8. Uh, so what I'd like to do uh, for today's class is go over the answers uh, to the classwork on lenses. Uh, and then after I'm done that, I'll talk about the assignment uh, that I'm going to be giving you, uh, which is going to, uh, which I'd like you to submit, uh, and that'll be marked. Uh, so let's start with the, the classwork. So we looked at lenses uh, last class. So number one, uh, what is a lens? So a lens is basically a transparent material. It can be made out of glass, it could be uh, made out of plastic uh, that, uh, that is curved and it allows a light to go through and then the light uh, on the other side becomes uh, refracted. So remember, we talked about two types of lenses, right? So for number two, there's the concave lens and the convex lens. Okay, so in terms of uh, uh, ray diagrams, Okay, so here's the, uh, this one here is the convex lens. Okay, and then here's the, uh, here's the, uh, sorry, this is the, con yeah, this is the same one here, that's the convex lens. And then um, here's your uh, concave lens. Okay, so notice for the concave lens, the light uh, uh, diffracts, right? It, uh, sorry, diverges. Okay, it diverges, it gets further apart from each other. So these lines here, uh, are never going to intersect. And then for the, um, the convex lens, uh, what happens is they converge, they meet up at the focal point, and then they diverge afterwards. Okay, um, okay uh, number three, the image formed by a concave uh, lens. Okay, so the concave lens, uh, so, uh, the image is going to be, regardless of where you are at any location, the image formed is always going to be smaller and upright. Okay, so that means the orientation uh, stays the same. Uh, and then uh, next one here, uh, it talks about which, uh, the convex lens, which, which is not as, uh, as clear as a concave lens. Uh, so it says, as an object comes closer, what happens to the size? Uh, describe whether the image is upright or upside down and the location of the image. Okay, so um, here's the table that describes basically what happens. Uh, so this is uh, going from a big distance and working your way in. So when you're beyond two focal lengths, so again, a focal length is, one focal length is defined as from the center of the lens to the focal point. So that would be one focal length. So two would be uh, twice that distance. Okay, so um, if you're more than two focal lengths away, you have an image that's smaller and inverted. If it's between one and two, it's larger and inverted. If you're at the focal point, there's no image. Okay, so what we call that spot is we call that the blind spot. Okay, so there's no image formed. And then after uh, when you're within uh, one focal length, so now you're quite close to the lens, you get a larger upright uh, image. Okay, so again, that one is, is definitely a lot more complicated than the, uh, the, the uh, uh, concave lens. Okay, um, two factors that affect the way light is refracted uh, through a lens. Okay, so uh, it's the thickness of the lens, the level of curvature of the lens, and the material that the lens is made up of. Okay, so those are three factors that affect the way the light is refracted. So how much refraction are you going to get? Um, two uses of a uh, convex lens. Okay, so um, convex lenses. Uh, so again, that's the one. Um, and remember what I talked about, that's, uh, let's try not to confuse um, the concave convex lenses with the concave convex mirrors. So even though they're using the same uh, the terminology. So basically what a um, convex lens is going to do is it's going to magnify. Okay, so it's going it, to it's going to magnify the um, uh, um, has the capacity of, of uh, uh, magnifying uh, except when um, you're quite a ways far from it, right? When it's more than two focal lengths. So when you're closer than two focal lengths, it gives you a larger um, uh, image, so that's that's called magnification. So, like a um, a microscope would use a uh, convex lens, as well as 
uh, glasses, like eyeglasses. Okay, and, and the next topic that we're going to look at has to do with the eye. And so I'll have you research uh, when you would use convex lenses, right? Is it when you're nearsighted or is it when you're farsighted? For the next one there, um, two uses of concave uh, lenses. So concave lenses uh, could also be used in um, eyeglasses. So again, farsighted or nearsighted, uh, I'll have you figure that one out. Um, and then telescopes also use uh, concave lenses. Okay, number eight, what is the difference between the way parallel light rays are affected by a concave mirror and a concave lens? So remember the concave mirror um, is the one where when you had parallel light rays strike it, the uh, reflected image, uh, the light rays came back and converged. With a concave lens, the rays that are going through end up diverging. Okay, so that's the difference. Um, nine, does a concave lens uh, affect more like a concave mirror or a convex mirror? So a concave lens, the light rays uh, diverge. A convex mirror, they also diverge. So that would be the one it access. Uh, number 10, it says explain why a drop of water placed on the page of a book magnifies. So if you basically what you want to ask yourself is what is the shape of a drop of a water? Uh, and the shape is a oval, right? And so the oval is what resembles a convex uh, lens. Okay, so again, a convex lens uh, magnifies. Okay, 11, reading glasses help people to see small print. So what sort of lens would be used in them? So again, you're talking about magnifying. Uh, so that would be a convex lens. Okay, so um, I've uh, as an attachment, I've got a... Um, an assignment on the eye. Okay, so uh, again, I recognize that a lot of you probably don't have your textbooks at home. Uh, so uh, if you do have your textbooks, by all means, you can use your uh, use your textbook to assist you. But if you don't have your textbook, uh, then I need you to go online. And so what you're doing is you're going to find a picture of the eye. Okay, so a picture uh, of the uh, eye you're going to uh, just like we, we were doing uh, you know, before spring break in the biology unit, we were talking about things like the digestive system, the, the um, respiratory system, all, all that stuff. And uh, same idea here. I'd like you to draw a picture and, and then label the parts. So I have a list of the parts uh, that I'd like you to label on the diagram and then you can color it. Um, and then also give the function of those parts. Okay, so in addition to that, there's some uh, questions and um, some definitions I'd like you to do on the eye. So this is kind of, uh, I'll go into the eye next week, uh, but this is kind of uh, a research assignment. So again, if you have the textbook, you can use that, but if you don't have the textbook, you need to kind of go online and go to reputable sites uh, to find uh, the answers that you're looking for. And again, after you're done, this is going to be uh, marked. So it is for marks. Uh, so you can take a picture of uh, your work and then you can uh, hand that or submit that into the assignment section. So most of you are, are uh, getting pretty good at uh, submitting your work. Uh, again, keep a hold of everything. Uh, have everything in the same, you know, uh, do a tang binder folder, uh, wherever you are collecting all your uh, Science 8 work. So if we are lucky enough to get back to class, um, then I would like to look at all, all that stuff and, and make sure that you've got it all organized because at the end we will get to a final exam. So this, the topics that we're covering will be on that. Okay, so try to keep yourselves uh, organized and keep all your uh, work uh, together. Uh, when I'm going over the questions, you should be checking your answers uh, and correcting ones that you made a mistake on. Again, I am keeping a tally uh, of the uh, the work that's coming in in terms of completion marks and also uh, marking assignments like your uh, coronavirus uh, worksheet and now the uh, I assignment. Okay, so you, marks are still being uh, taken even though we're at a, uh, at a distance from one another. All right, so I'll stop there. Um, again, keep sending me questions if there's anything that's confusing or you need help with. Uh, I've mentioned the office hours. Again, the office hours are uh, 8.30 uh, to 
uh, I think that was on uh, Monday, I believe. Um, so again, if you need live communication, that's the time to do that. Otherwise, just continue to send me messages um, and I'll, I'll get back to you as, um, as soon as I can. Okay, so we'll have our next class on Monday. So let's get the uh, I assignment done uh, prior to uh, Monday's class. Okay, so again, stay safe. Uh, look after yourself and, and the people around you. Uh, try to remain positive. Uh, and I'll uh, talk to you again on Monday. Okay, bye for now.